song from that show. This is called Sweet Marijuana Brown. She blows her gaze, flies in a rage, sweet marijuana brown in her big There are lots of bars in the city that have pianos where people play, where you can go and sing. But any given night of the week, if you feel like singing, you can come to Martunas. And that's what a piano bar is all about. It doesn't make any difference whether you're professional or you're a shower singer or an occasional singer or you're a concert singer. Martoni's makes room and it has a place for everyone. It's bound to take you in. that girl in trouble. I uh, put myself through college playing in a piano bar in Virginia, of all places. And people of all ages, literally, we've seen people tonight that were in their 60s and people that were barely 21. Coming together to do the same thing that they did over a century ago when they would sing in someone's parlor. It's the same need to sing along with other people. And that's what karaoke does too. That need has not gone away. I love coming here to be a part of that because I grew up with that and I don't ever want to see that disappear. When you find a pianist that you connect with, it's, it's like a give and take of breath know that they're there, you know that they're there regardless of what either of you are going to do. So it's communication and it's working together and providing a relationship. I'm not a fan of autonomy in the sense that you can roll up your windows and pretend that the world doesn't exist and you can sing in your car at the top of your lungs and not share it. I'm not a fan of that kind of autonomy. And that's what that suggests to me, is that autonomy is winning. That uh, the need to connect is, is unraveling, un, uh, un, like a sweater. It's un, coming undone, and it's not good. It's not good. You, you know, you're singing at the top of your lungs in your car. It doesn't matter how good or bad it is. Just share it. 